So we're gonna work on this today. This is my sawmill right here. And uh, the road's going up straight through that, on the right side of that pear tree. But there's a locust there and a few around it. And I want these ones taken out. I'm gonna end up replacing some of these ones right here. I'm gonna put chestnuts and walnuts in here and possibly hazelnut. So I'm gonna try to keep my nut trees closer to the acidic side of my property which is close to this this pine this pine grove right here Let's see it goes all the way down aisle six so i'm just gonna try and shade out these locusts after a while that's on his property so my trees will just take over and then the road will come back in and up all of this mess and uh, put it in a nice firewood pile for a bonfire and this other stuff here I'm gonna keep the logs and uh, I'm thinking about getting a chipper to get rid of all this brush but yeah we're gonna do that and uh, come back and show you some of the results so we got day old chickens little cutie pies with all the red light keeping them warm little babies how many we got here mom 15 15 little chickies all layers right yes no roosters no you didn't get any hens eh they're all hens no I meant you didn't get any adult ones there are three week old ones in the back oh is in the back mm -hmm. like in the coop mm -hmm. oh, nice well let's go take a look oh, it it's like a real farm around here <laughs> Yeah, once you get chickens, it seems to be farmland, eh? Hi, girls. It's weekend. Just eating and eating and relaxing. Oh, that's cute. Gracie and her friend there. Hi, Gracie. Hi, Gracie. Gracie, Gracie. Yeah, we got the boys in here and all the youngsters, they're just bleating away. Come on, say it loud. I'm a goat and I'm proud. We're just going to go down here and check out the, the new chickens. Uh, we've had chickens before, just uh, not here, but when we did move here, we had guinea hens and we have ermines around here that came out one day and took them took 10 guinea hen and then just basically killed them all in two days let's go in here And I think these are three week old chickens. Let's see what's going on in here. Oh, there they are. Look at that. Hello, girls. Oh, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. And unfortunately, our dog helped himself to one of them and doesn't know that they're friends. He knows now. No dogs were hurt in this video. And this is Trevor, he, he rebuilt this up a little bit and put some straw in there in the walls and sealed it up. A nice little winter spot. And then here's our their chicken run here. It used to be where we had the pigs. We don't really want to raise pigs. Maybe if we want one, we'll do it. And I'll straighten out too. Toast. Okay. This is right from the fridge too, eh? But look at you can spread it, not like other butter. There it taste. It's got a teensy weensy weensy bit of salt in it. <laughs> Very creamy. I'm not sure if I like it. 
Maybe it needs salt. I don't know. Maybe. Well, I'm just it's different. Just, it's I'm totally just, different. I'm just new at it. It's creamy. Yeah, it's very creamy. It might be nice if you add chives to it hmm. and you can cook with it. Might be a little bit nicer because it is so creamy. So I'm all done now. Cleaned up the entire line here, especially around my mill. So this is the top half and down this whole tree line is finished now. So I don't have to do anything. I gave it a little rake. Try to get some of those thorns at least out of the way so they're not running over them. And I just got a little little bit of cleanup right here. And then I will I will burn it. I don't own a chipper, so we'll burn it. And I'll try to make a little bit of biochar with the leftovers. There's my that's my next pile. And then there's another big pile behind that tree there. And the other pile I had. I'm doing all this cleanup. It's right there. And it's almost gone. So my day is almost over. And that's just another day on branching out farms.